Only on News 5, whatever happened to Linda Pagano? The 17-year-old disappeared without a trace 43 years ago. Tonight, her family may be closer to closure, all thanks to a complete stranger. News 5's Megan Hickey has been following this story for months, and she was finally able to talk to Linda's brother about his hope he may soon bring his sister home. It's the tale of two cases, a 17-year-old Akron girl who went missing in 1974 and the body of a Jane Doe discovered in Strongsville not long after. Could they be the same person? The answer could be right here. A lone white cross keeps watch over a field of souls. Nothing but a few metal rods marking the final resting places of thousands of nameless people. It's here in lot three, tier 11, grave 77. That Mike Pagano of Coventry Township is praying to find the answer to his life's biggest question. We wait 40 something years. The story starts here at the apartment across the lake. It was September 1st, 1974. Pagano's sister, 17 year old Linda Pagano was staying with her stepfather, Byron Claflin. They got into a fight that night. He said she walked away and she was never heard from again. I just felt an empty pit. I knew. Many pointed the finger at Claflin, but without a body or evidence, he died a free and innocent man in 1990. I had to accept the fact that, you know, I'm going to die never knowing. You know, just like my mom did. She never knew. Fast forward to the year 2015. A woman who goes only by the username Call Me Ice. An unofficial detective, a web sleuth, a mystery in her own right. An angel from heaven as far as I'm concerned. She was digging into a different cold case when she found this cemetery ledger. It listed unknown white female bones, discovered on February 5th, 1975, and buried in Potter's Field a few months later. The remains were found here, on the banks of the Rocky River in Strongsville. Jane Doe had a gunshot wound to the head. And Call Me Ice didn't stop there. She requested a picture of the bones. A forensic artist put together this image using a piece of the skull. That's wild. And for the first time in more than 40 years, Mike Pagano said he felt like he was looking at his sister. The mouth is practically identical. Akron police followed up. We have never forgot about this case. Investigators tell me the bones were never entered into any database. Communication between departments was not as efficient in 1974, and there was no DNA technology. Hopefully, we'll be able to go back to this family someday and say, here's your loved one. But a final answer could still be months away. The Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner's Office would only confirm to me that they are moving forward with exhuming the body. Pagano says he just has a feeling. Something you feel down in here. Yeah, that, it's her. He knows it won't change what happened, but he wants more than anything to give one of these thousands of no ones a name to bring her home and give her peace. Once the body is exhumed, it will be sent to a lab in Texas for testing. Investigators couldn't say how long that will take. In Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News 5.